Morning folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics here for a nice early session before work. So I've got an hour, hour and a half to catch a couple of flatties if I can. I'm out and I'm gonna pick some super shallow water fishing the deadly little Z-Man 2.5 inch prawns. I've got it on some quarter ounce and some one eighth ounce heads. So quarter ounce for big long casts so I don't spook the fish in the shallows. When I'm, I wanna keep my distance from them. And then when I get up and I'm picking in those pockets, I've got a one eighth ounce for just picking in those weed pockets. So I'll start with you guys there and then I might end up with the camera on my head so that you can see what I'm looking at and where I'm picking the gaps in the super shallow water. So join me for some super shallow Z-Man prawning for flatties. Fish on. I'm going to kick off with one of my favourites, that's the Houdini colour, real nice natural colour on that Demons, TT Demons head, quarter ounce one oh in golden boy colour. Real nice natural looking presentation and that's going to do us for kicking off the session, Let's see if we can get a couple on this edge. That quarter ounce jig head allows me to sit further out from the bank so I'm not spooking the fish that are right in on that edge and I can effectively then fish the area from a distance. So even though it's only shallow, I'm not using the jig head to get down on the bottom, I'm using the jig head to punch a really long cast. Hopefully not spook the fish before we get there. Right up in the shallows there. Retrieve wise, I'm pretty much just punching the cast right into the edge, allowing it to hit the bottom. It's very shallow in there. Probably fishing from no water out to about a metre of water. And I'm just giving it a few flicks. So I'll flick that plastic up off the bottom, like a prawn that's kind of flicking away. Pause it and your hits will often come on that pause as that plastic sinks back down to the bottom. So just be ready for that tap of a flathead eating it. Otherwise, hopefully they're eating it hardcore and you don't have to worry, they just smash it and get it right into them. So we'll keep creeping our way up along the bank here. No sun really coming through yet, so makes it difficult to see what's going on below us but um, we're just pretty much just sticking in the shallows a cast distance from the edge all right a couple of dozen casts in this morning only one little tap so far so I'm just changing it up because we don't have a lot of time so I want to keep things moving so I've changed it up to a chartreuse demon's head real bit of punch out there they can see with this low light and that blood oil color in a 2.5 inch prawn so we'll see if we can get them fired up on that colour. Yep, yep, yep. There we go, there we, we changed colour. Two casts and we got a little flatty so just a little fella to warm things up but that's pretty cool. Super shallow water here, be 50 centimetres deep max and that's a nice little flatty as scoffed that. 2.5 inch Z-Man prawns on that chartreuse head so that chartreuse head and that blood oil colour might be the ticket with a bit of UV to fire them up so there's our little guy to warm up with now let's see if we can find a bigger one all right folks I've switched you over to the head cam so that you can see what I'm doing here there's a bit of glare on the water and not much sun unfortunately to help us see the bottom I don't know if you can see that bottom there. There's almost no water here. We're, I'd say we're just on half a metre of water maybe. And we're pushing up into probably even less water. But basically on this side of me, there's weed. There's a nice weed edge there. On this side of me, there's weed. And there's kind of a weedy, sandy, rubbly sort of drain that I'm fishing up into. So I'll be casting to the edge of the weed edge there. I can see the weed edge. Landed in it then, unfortunately. But flicking to the edge of the weed and punching up into this bit of a drain as we cruise up in here. There's a lot of this, what we call snot weed around at the moment, that time of year. So that's a bit of a pain if you get into the weed, you, you catch a lot of that stuff. So we're trying not to hit the weed. We're just trying to pick our way up this little drain. There's not much water up in here, but it doesn't take much water to hold a floody. So hopefully if we just persist and we pick our way up in here, we can find one little guy to start off with but it'd be nice to get one a bit bigger up in shallow water here 
just keep pushing up in here. I'm just I'm spraying casts around a bit still. I'm just trying to avoid hitting those weed beds either side of us. And the trick is the flatties will be sitting right up tight in against the weed a lot of the time. So you've got to be up in, oh, it's a little tough. You've got to be up in the edge of the weed without getting into the weed. So that's the trick, just trying to pinpoint your cast accurately. A little tap up in there, but not the one we're after. A lot of the time when I get up into this super shallow stuff, I'll, I'm not doing giant hops. You don't want to be hopping that plastic right out of the water every time. You want to keep it sort of from mid water to the bottom. So I, I make those hops a bit smaller. You can still make them aggressive, but just make them shorter hops to keep that plastic in the strike zone. A little bit of weed there again. We'll just keep chipping away up in here. Good defined edge there you can see of the drain possibly there. So that's the sort of stuff we're looking for. Just trying to use subtle movements of the electric because it is shallow. Righto. It's feeling pretty fishy up in here even though there's not a lot of water. I reckon there's got to be one pushed up in here at least. Oh, yep, there we go. There we go. Another flatty. Man, there's not much water here. How is that water? Look at that depth there. It is shallow as there. The electric was just bumping the bottom, so I had to lift it up a bit. But this flatty's up there. What they do is they just find the deeper pockets to sit in. So they'll cruise right up into that shallow water, and then they just hold in the deeper pockets. And there's plenty of bait up in there in the shallows. So they get that bait coming to them. They just pick it off in the shallows. He's not a big one either, he's only a little boat. Geez, he fought a bit better than that in the shallows. That's one good thing with these guys in that shallow water. They do pull hard and you know about it when you get a big one. <laughs> so there we go, that's on that chartreuse head, blood oil color in the prawns. A nice little UV presentation when you want that little bit of pop. I reckon that flat would be just legal. Yeah, there you go. So that one's 43, 43 centimetre flatty. So that's a good dinner size for Sherry and I. So we'll keep one and we'll let the rest of them go and hopefully we can find a bit bigger guy in here. It's always worth keeping an eye out for bait and also spraying just a few casts around the place as well. So if you see bait, get a cast to it. But like in the area here, it's all a big area of shallow. So although I'm working up into this drain, I'm also going to prospect out around the place because it's all good water for holding a flatty, nice shallow water with undulations and weed and bait and that sort of thing. So worth spraying a few casts around the place. But that's pretty cool. You know, early one before work, I've snuck out, got a little fella to kick off, got up into some even shallower water, got a 43, which is a good dinner size so you know everything after that's a bonus really definitely one of my favorite styles of fishing fishing this super shallow stuff if it is weedy it just helps to keep the plastic moving a bit so i'm winding and twitching but i'm not moving i'm not doing big hops so i'm keeping it in the bottom half of the water column just twitching and moving it through the shallows there. All right, just the two fish working up into that little bit of a drain. Sun's just popped its head out. So we might just get up on to this sort of flats area here and just do a drift out with the wind. See if we can pick up a couple more just on that shallow flat. There's another one out of super shallow water, that was. Right up on a weed edge, not a big one, but oh, good fun in the shallow water. They fire up, that's for sure. Just a little fella. I changed to that opening night color. 
because that sun's up, so I've got that little bit of flash and sparkle of the opening night color on a 1/8 out, it's 1.0, so I've gone a 1.8 in that Headlocks Finesse UV painted black head with that opening night colored plastic, just to give it that bit more slow, natural fall as it sinks, and that fish picked it up super shallow. Good fun. <clears throat> There we go. There we go. Out a little bit wider that time, so just flick the flick the cast a little bit wider. Got this fella. Feels a bit a bit better this one. This might be the one we're looking for. Got to get our net. Not well organised. <laughs> Keep the pressure on him. Don't lose him. Right, oh, let's have a look. What do we got? Oh, he's not a big fella, but he's not illegally, I reckon. <clears throat> Pretty quiet, huh? Just another little fella, but there's uh, plenty of action here this morning on the prawns, so bite's been tough, but they're, they're loving the prawns. Send you back in again. I'm on a bit of a roll on those little guys, but you know, if we keep grinding away, we might get a bit better one. But that's on this guy. That's the TT Demons Quarter 1-0. On that Houdini color, very, very natural looking color, but it's got a bit of a UV element in the top there. So it's a good one for, you know, water's pretty clear here now, and that sun's sort of having a go. So that nice natural color is good. And, and I'm fishing that quarter one and just bouncing it on the bottom. So picking the pockets in the weed and just working away along this edge. So we know that. A bit better ones just around the corner. We just got to keep casting. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. Next cast, hey. Next cast, and we got another one, but it, again, it doesn't feel real big. Definitely not finding the size, definitely finding the numbers. A lot of these guys are about the same size. They're all nice little schooling males. So hopefully they're all schooling around a larger fish and we can get it to eat a prawn. Oh, it's a bit of bait. Yeah, little dude. That black nickel chemically sharpened hook is pinning them. That's a gamma katsu on those TT demons. So it's a brutally sticky little hook it, it pins them that's for sure so it's pinned oh there's another one next cast again i think we found a little patch just got to find that one. oh that feels a little bit better no, they're just playing up this morning i think they're a bit fired up another little tiny color how's that for numbers that is crazy all over this little prawns Five pointers galore for the flutter classic. <laughs> Enough of the five pointers. Where's the big pointers? Pretty easy to fish this prawns. It's a good one if you're getting into soft plastics fishing. Everything eats a prawn. It's very realistic prawn profile. Got a nice little prawn kick when you twitch it. A bunch of different species eat it. We're primarily on a flathead edge this morning. And really all you've got to do is put it out there, give it a few hops and twitches, like a prawn moving through the water. And yeah, fish just love to eat it. So I'll just fish it with a twitch twitch and a pause or a couple of hops and a pause. And those, yeah, those flatties are all over it. They're eating it on the drop. So as I twitch it up, as it sinks back down like that, they just drill it as it sinks back down. Another junior burger. <clears throat> Go on, mate. Get you back in the water. Another little fella. Just that hop, hop, twitch, twitch. Just get it moving up off the bottom and then pause it. You'll feel them tap it as it drops back down again. All right, that sun's back out again. That sun helps me to put the cast where I want it, right into the pocket. So while it's up, I'm gonna make the most of it. 
bang a few casts into the tighter pockets around the weed now that I can see them. All right, we've just moved down a cast distance basically so that we're casting into clean water again, area that we haven't already fished. Hopefully we find another little pocket of fish in here. Fall nice and slow. My guy got on it, so that's cool. He's fired up. He's a little bit bigger. Oh, they're punching above their weight today. They're angry up in the shallows here. That's one of the main reasons I love chasing floaties in shallow water. Is they Man, they're cranky. All right, he's shaking that lure again. He's cooperating. Only another little one. So we'll drop that back in, but that was a, that was a brilliant solid hit. And um, yeah, good little fight from that guy, just coming out of the shallow water in there. As that plastic dropped back down, he just drilled it. Oh, we're not getting the size, but we're getting a few numbers on the prawns for our early morning start. Another little tucker. Oh, he's right up. He scoffed that prawn. You can see that prawn right down in the gob there. Well and truly scoffed that. See you, buddy. is still good that's that 12 pound platypus hard arm armor supple leader so another flatty getting a few flatties we're just not getting that that big fella we're looking for so we'll keep persisting and we've got a little bit more time see if we can knock one off before we go to work Pretty much the, the next cast and we're on to another one so that's a good sign might have found a few here oh he looks like a twin of the bloke we just let go we found the little guys hopefully there's a bigger one sitting in amongst them another little one on the prawns there we go see you buddy getting bites though this morning which is good they love that little prawns just flicked up off the bottom and allowed to fall back down and sit on the bottom again so eating it as it falls back down on the paws yep there's a tap as that prawn sank down Got that tap from that flatty. Just giving it that hop or the twitch and it's on that pause when they're eating it. Have a little do. How many little guys do we have to catch before we find a big one? again in between two little banks one bank running one way one bank running back parallel to it that's a nice chunky little flatty he's off mate 
We've got some numbers on this prawns this morning. So many flatties in their 30s today. It's crazy. So many little dudes. So we've got a little bit of time left. Fingers crossed. See you, buddy. All right, folks, what an epic little session on the water. We smacked a heap of flatties this morning on that 2.5 inch prawns. Loads and loads of little guys. So we've stopped at one more spot on the way home just to see if we can get a bit better one to finish off. But regardless, what a cool little session. Get out before or after work and get stuck into a few flatties. We even got three and three casts at one point there, which was pretty cool. So let's get this prawns in the water and see if we can find one a bit better. too long that's fired up that fish where's it's hopefully that's the bloke we're after he just drilled that just casting up into about a meter of water so pretty shallow sort of area that I'm fishing and I've just cast it up current and I'm letting it drift back hopping it along the edge of the weed there so that's got a bit of weight in it Hopefully that's the one that we're chasing. Oh yeah, it's a nice flatty. How's that? We've been catching a ton of small ones in that one area that we were in. I was having a great time. Good fun, especially in the shallows. We've moved to a separate little area here, fishing the edge of a weedy drain. Throw on that cast with the prawns. And bang, fish on. This is a nice fish. Get in there. There we go. What a fish. That's a beautiful flatty. Oh, awesome. On that prawns. I love that little Z-Man prawns. It's such a cool profile. Everything eats a prawn. And this guy flicked around in the shallows. It's hard to beat. So that's on that quarter ounce 1 OTT Demons, which is one of my favorite ways to rig it. When I get in the super, super even shallower water, I'll go to that 1 8 ounce 1 in a Headlocks Finesse UV. But let's have a look at this guy. That's a nice fish. All right, there we go. Have a look at that guy. So that's a nice flatty. That's up around the 60. It's smashed that. 2.5 inch prawns in Houdini color on the golden boy color in that quarter ounce 1 OTT Demons. So one of my favorite presentations for chasing a flathead in the shallow water. Let's get this guy back in the water so that you guys can get out and get stuck into it. All right, lure out, hooked beautifully right in the corner of the jaw. So perfect hook up on that flatty. I've got the lip grips on, oh, TT grips on so that we can get the fish in the water nice and easy. We're not damaging uh, the fish and we're not risking getting spiked by that fish. So let's get her back in the drink. She's still kicking beautifully. Righto, see you fish. Thank you, good times. Oh yeah, she's fired up. She's fired up and ready to go. See you later, buddy. That is brilliant. Stoked. There we go, folks. What an awesome way to finish off a quick morning session before work. A cracker 60 centimeter flathead on that Z-Man 2.5 inch prawns and watched her swim away so that you guys can get out and get stuck into it. So that was a really cool little session. The prawns in the shallows, the flatties absolutely love it. So you can see we smacked a ton of fish first up and they could have been any size fish, but we got a heap of little guys, but three and three casts is pretty cool. A couple of bit better ones in there. And then we moved spots and finished off with that nice 60 to finish the session. So don't forget, throw a few packets of Z-Man 2.5 inch prawns in your kit, especially if you're, you're doing the shallow flatties like I love to do. I fished it on a quarter 1.0 TT Demons today and also a 1.8 ounce 1.0 in a TT Headlocks Finesse UV. So a deadly presentation. Everything eats a prawn and flatties absolutely love it up in the shallows. So hopefully with the days getting warmer and the days getting longer, you get an opportunity for a sneaky one before or after work. But regardless, just get out early, get stuck in. Throw that Z-Man 2.5 inch prawns and see what you can come up with. All the best with the fishing. Cheers.